Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing position sizing part 6, the Kelly Criterion. The Kelly Criterion is a formula that finds the optimal amount to bet based on the percentage of winners and the reward risk ratio. It was published by the Texan-born scientist John L. Kelly in a paper entitled A New Interpretation of the Information Rate. The formula is as follows. Where P is the probability of winning and R is the reward risk ratio. For instance, in a coin toss game where you win $2 when heads and $1 when tails. The formula indicates that you need to bet 25% of the available cash for optimal growth. Final equity is a function of the percentage bet. Coin toss game with a 2 to 1 profit factor after 100 bets starting with $1. The fig 1 shows that in a winning game there is an optimal bet which allows for maximal growth of the capital. We can also see that after the optimal bet value is surpassed, the risk increases while returns decrease, therefore betting beyond optimal is harmful. Another interesting fact is that the growth curve is steeper as the number of bets or trades grows, and decreasing the position size by small amounts will significantly harm the overall growth. The Virtues of Trading Using the Kelly Criterion Trading using the Kelly Criterion produces the fastest growth. As an example, the next image shows the progression of equity curve with the same sequence of gains and losses using 15% and 25% trade sizes in the mentioned coin toss game. Please remember that the game started with $1, so the figure shown in the vertical axis of the image is a multiplier. You started with $1,000. At the end of the 100 tosses, you'll end with $30 million using the Kelly Criterion Amber Curve. In the image, we can see that the 25% trade had a 30,000 times profit in 100 bets, whereas the 15% trade size had a mere 2,200 times. That difference grows with the number of bets. We can also see that the difference is not that much in the first 60 trades, but then explodes after trade number 70, and especially after trade number 90. Thus, the Kelly Criterion does not show its effects in the short term. A trader should let it go long term. The downside of the Kelly Criterion one downside of using this is that even on a fair coin toss game with a 2 to 1 reward risk ratio, in which we know the exact optimal position size which is 25%, the random nature of coin toss would make it seem as if optimal size should be different. The following figure shows 20 different coin toss curves of 100 bets using real random sequences. The figure is set to log scale because the difference in the outcomes are so high that a linear scale does not reveal what we are looking for. In the image, we can see that the lower curves show its peak below the theoretical 25, while the more successful outcomes show optimal fractions of up to 42. This explains how difficult it is to find the optimal fraction on a trading system in which we only know the historic parameters, not the true parameters. Linked to this comes what we already have said. Using the optimal fraction sizes may result in huge drawdowns. Drawdowns Similar to the growth of the curve shown, drawdowns cannot be fully predicted using the Monte Carlo simulations. We can create a good approximation of the typical and maximum values. On the next figure, plotting the histogram of max drawdowns, we can see that the typical value for the Kelly criterion sizing is about 85% drawdown. In the next figure, we can see the max drawdown probability plot. We observe the likelihood of the max drawdown of at least 95% is about 5% in sequences of 100 bets, or 1 in every 20 occasions. Therefore, we should assume that the possibility of it happening over time is a sure thing. So if the method is not tradable, why waste our time on it? Although it is rather hard to trade using optimal fractions, we can make use of the concept of maximum equity growth, so stay tuned for a practical application of the Kelly Criterion in future. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.